I've always had a fascination with the strange and bizarre and a love for the water. And so what better place to explore than the salt and sea? And so that passion and curiosity took me smack dab into the middle of that big old briny body of water on a prone paddleboard adventure. More about that later. The Salton Sea has a strange and interesting environmental history, being the result of an engineering accident which left the waters of Colorado River flooding into the basin and filling an ancient lake bed. Once heralded as the world capital of sport fishing after the introduction of multiple fish species and a promising prospect for coastal development and recreation, the Salton Sea is now considered to be one of the biggest environmental disasters in California history. Tilapia carcasses litter the shoreline as a result of increasing temperatures and decreasing oxygen. And that ain't no white sand beach. Those are the remains of millions and millions of barnacles brought here in the ballast of ships doing military testing in the 1940s. Agricultural runoff, harmful algal blooms, and a seafloor coated with toxic chemicals and military ordnance are just a few of the charms of the Salton Sea. So you might be wondering, why would anyone in their right mind want to paddle across this inhospitable body of water? Well, as far as I can tell, no one's prone paddled across it before, so I wanted to give it a shot. And a good friend of mine passed away recently, and so I put together a memorial fundraiser, pumping this paddle, and see if we could get some money together for his son who survives him. We woke at the crack of dawn and tried to launch from the western shore and found that the winds were blowing in our face. So we switched sides and got a late start. Well, we're about halfway. Been on the water for about two hours now. Right here in the middle of this big wide open sea. Not a soul in sight. Nice and quiet out here. A couple birds zipping by here and there. What a peaceful, wonderful day. The water's so salty, it chewed right through my GoPro mount, and that thing went swimming down to the bottom of this mucky, big old brown body of water. Couldn't even see it as soon as it dropped, so this is about all the video footage we're gonna get from this fun little trip. What can you do? Uh, you know, extreme conditions, it seems. Slight little side wind that I'm working against, slowing me down a little bit, but, you know, spirits are high, not feeling too bummed about it. I think I've got another like, six miles to go or something. I'm about four and a half in right now. And, uh, you know, just adapting on the fly. The wind was kicking wrong direction this morning and zipped over to the other side of the lake. And figured, you know, either way I'm gonna be beating a side wind. So, you know, might as well just send it and see how we do. That's what all the training and muscles are for. And, uh, yeah, bummed I couldn't share that time lapse of this little rip with y'all, but well, yeah, what can you do? Another one bites the dust. Uh, guess I had to get myself a new camera here. Maybe drill on mount or something like that. Figured at halfway point, I'd be nice and warmed up, and I'd just start hauling ass. So from here, I'm just gonna beat it on down the line to the western shore. Started kind of northeast and hitting sort of a southwest trajectory. We'll see how it lands me. I might end up on a random beach stranded somewhere, but hopefully my buddy can find me. And... <coughs> Yeehaw, what stillness. And beauty it is to just be out in a body of water with nobody around, not worried about any sharks or any you know, critters underneath me. There's just some tilapia and a whole bunch of harmful algae blooms out here. It seems water's about as clear as mud. Ah, onward. There he is, pulling hard. Bring it home! There he comes. Yeah! 
Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, buddy! buddy. <laughs> Ten Whoa. plus miles. I go back. <laughs> yes. Yes. Congratulations. First ever documented prone paddle across the infamous Salton Sea. Woo. That was amazing and exhilarating and very tiring yeah oh yeah i was getting a sidewind the whole way just whipping and so i couldn't knee paddle at all because i was too kind of precarious and stable from getting winds from the side yeah so i had to just prone paddle it on my belly the whole way wow. lost the gopro <laughs> but uh I pulled this off the rock I think I could have done more. But pretty damn satisfied, all in all. This thing did great. How's the endurance? I could, I could start at the beginning and do it over, all over again. Be a little stiffer, but if I had a wind working with me, I could. I think I could do the whole stretch of the sea. Did the uh, stench of nutrient-rich decay or the extra? float from the salinity affect your paddle at all? The, the extra float was welcome, but the stank was, it was there. The water is clear as mud, you know? You like, you can see it right there. It's here right now. I mean, yeah. we're in a very stinky part of the lake yeah. here. The, uh, the side where we launched was what's left of a pristine shoreline. Although it was full of tires, it didn't smell like this. It's funkier on this side. Once you get out into the middle, I mean, it's still just clear as mud brown the whole way through, but it's, uh, you know, a little cleaner, but it's nothing you want to be drinking or getting in your mouth. It's, it was a, there was a funky smell kind of throughout. How often did it spray you in the face? Like, probably, I don't know, it was coming from the side, and my head, you know, when you're prone paddling, you you got to rest your neck with yeah. your chin down. So I have my chin down and my eyes closed a lot, just fucking cruising, you know, just feeling the glide. And uh, every so often, like an, a wave would actually form up, and I just get just a mouthful. I'm bummed I lost that GoPro footage because uh -huh. there's some funny shit on this. And uh, did you partake in any DMT during your paddle? No, but I think I probably produced a bit and endogenously and experienced some gratitude and oneness right on right on I'm planning on hitting an infrared sauna after this um, I think I could use a hose down first I'm feeling pretty funky like, where's the next body of water you'll be paddling Mono Lake and then we'll do the Monterey Bay crossing do you believe that ketosis would change your experience for the better yeah, I think not eating that burrito yesterday would have made my experience look better. Well, thank you everyone for watching that wild and wacky adventure. And a special thanks to everyone who contributed to that GoFundMe fundraiser for Ben Kitty's son. We raised thousands of dollars and uh, really brings a special meaning to this trip. And uh, until the next time, take it easy.